Welcome to our FB page na free reviewers managed by Leonalyn at ang video ito ay upload din natin sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonalyn. Ang question dito ay how to simplify improper fractions or paano itong improper fraction i-convert natin into mixed fractions or mixed numbers Ito ay pinaka basic sa mga fractions kasi kailangan tayong mag-simplify Meron kasi tayong post, ito ay isa sa ating mga followers na nag-comment sa isa sa ating mga videos din na number series yon. Ang tanong ay kung paanong naging 3 and 3 fourth itong 15 over 4. Kasi si 15 over 4 wala yan sa choices yung na-post natin at ang nasa choices ay 3 and 3 fourth. Now, ang tanong, paano naging 3 and 3 fourth si 15 over 4? At yung post na yun ay about sa number series. So, importante malaman natin yung pinaka-basic kung paano isimplify yung improper fractions or i-convert into mixed fractions or mixed numbers. 15 over 4, ang ibig sabihin yan ay 15 divided by 4. Ilang 4 sa 15? We have 3. 3 times 4 and that is 12. 15 minus 12 and this is 3. Itong 3 na yan, yan yung whole number natin. Itong remainder na 3 dito, yan yung numerator. At kopyahin lang itong divisor natin or yung denominator natin na 4. So, ganyan lang siya kadali. 15 over 4, that is equal to 3 and 3 fourth. Another example. 30 over 4. Ganito lang yan. 30 divided by 4. Ilang 4 sa 30? 7. 7 times 4 and this is 28. 30 minus 28 and that is 2. Itong 7 na yan, yan yung whole number natin dito. Yung remainder na 2, yan yung numerator. At itong divisor na 4 or yung denominator, kopyahin lang natin yan. Now, ang tanong, Ito na ba yung mismong simplified form or ito na ba yung final answer? Hindi pa kasi itong 2 over 4 ay mas simplify pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor. Now for more examples about greatest common factor, pwede nyo i-search ito sa ating YouTube channel. Greatest common factor tapos dugtungan lang ng Lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na nating na-upload kung paano hanapin yung greatest common factor. Now, ang greatest common factor dito ay 2. So, kopyahin muna natin yung 7. 2 divided by 2 and that is 1. 4 divided by 2 and that is 2. So, therefore, ang final answer dito ay 7 and 1 half. Next, 8 over 3. Ibig sabihin yan, 8 divided by 3. Ilang 3 sa 8? 2. 2 times 3, and that is 6. 8 minus 6, and this is 2. Itong 2 dito, yan yung whole number natin. Yung remainder na 2, yan yung numerator. Yung divisor natin na 3, or yung denominator na 3, kopyahin lang yan siya. So therefore, 8 over 3 equals 2 and 2 third. Next, 9 over 2, that is 9 divided by 2. Ilang 2 sa 9? 4. 4 times 2 and that is 8. 9 minus 8 and that is 1. Yang 4 na yan, yan yung whole number natin. 
Yang remainder na 1, yan yung numerator. At itong divisor na 2, or itong denominator, kopyahin lang natin yan. So, itong 9 over 2, itong improper fraction nating 9 over 2, ang mixed fraction niya or mixed number ay 4 and 1 half. Next, itong 15 over 7, this is... The same as 15 divided by 7. Ilang 7 sa 15? 2. 2 times 7 and that is 14. 15 minus 14, that is 1. Itong 2 dito, yan yung whole number. Yung remainder na 1, yan yung numerator. Yung 7 na pang divide natin or yung denominator na 7, kopyahin lang yan siya. Therefore, itong improper fraction na 15 over 7 ay pariho lang yan or ito na yung simplified form na mixed number or mixed fraction. Bakit ka mo mixed number siya or mixed fraction? Kasi meron tayong whole number and a fraction. Now for more examples about fractions, pwede niyong search fraction Yung mga keywords lang, tapos idugtong lang yung Leonalyn para mas madaling masort out yung dati na nating na-upload regarding sa mga fractions yung dati na nating na-upload sa ating YouTube channel. Now, I hope meron kayong natutunan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.